Hey there everybody, Decaf here from YSFlightHeadquarters.com and YSUpload.com and today we're going to take a look at how to make Fowler flaps in Blender. Now this is uh, an older style of flap, it's typically uh, found with uh, either single, double, or triple flaps. Um, and if you don't know what that is, just go ahead and uh, Google that. Uh, but today we're going to take a look at a single Fowler flap because it's the simplest thing to do. So here is a TU-95 that I've been working on for quite some time and it has single slotted Fowler flaps and everything that you see here with the exception of the propellers is 100% scratch made. So how did I go about and actually make these Fowler flaps? Um, if you go ahead and, and take a look at some of these things um, you can see that it all comes in quite nicely um, and it's more visible from the bottom than it is from the top. It's kind of an interesting uh, thing with the Fowler flaps. So let's actually go ahead and start making some. So first things first, we're gonna to need to make a wing. Um, and that can be kind of interesting. Um, one thing I will tell you right now is that it will turn out much better if you have a very, very sharp trailing edge. So what do I mean by that? Um, if you ever look at some of the, um, you know, airfoils out there, there can be uh, airfoils that look a little bit rounder or whatever, and then there's some that are severely, severely stretched in the x direction. Let's say something like this, much sharper trailing edge in total, and that's where you're going to want for this. Um, the airfoil for the TU-95 works very, very well for this because it's almost like a, a half circle up front and then a cone for the rest of it. But we're just going to use this right here as an example. And let's just make this a touch thicker. There, that should be okay. Uh, we'll drag that guy back. All right, so here's the airfoil that we're going to use. And I'm going to want this going out in this direction and we're just going to uh, make sure this is centered so we don't get any weird stuff later on. Alright, looking from the top, let's extrude this out and we're going to scale this down out here and sweep it back. So there is our wing, let's say. Um, maybe bump that up a little bit or something, who knows. Bump it down. And what we need to do is to make a Fowler flap. Um, so one thing that I'm going to r recommend you do right now is before you get too much further along, you're going to want to try to line up the edges that you see here with your flap. So I'm going to make it so that this edge right here is the uh, furthest forward point that we see the flap from the top side. And then this edge down here is the furthest forward point that we see the flap on the bottom side. So what we're going to do is go to the top view and we're just going to do some quick cutting in here. And this is just an example. Uh, I'm just going to go in to that third uh, set of edges and that'll be good for there. And I'll do the same thing down just a little bit further. I'm not going to make a huge flap. And notice how I don't go past um, that third edge. I don't go and try to cut this uh, edge that was created from our first cut. If we do that, things can get really complicated really fast. And if we're trying to keep our mesh nice and clean, uh, that's going to cause some problems. So what I would like to do is clean up the mesh first so that it's absolutely as clean as can be. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and separate this guy. But we need to separate all of this. So what I'm going to do is actually duplicate it and then separate it. So I'm not losing any actual mesh uh, in the wing itself. And then I'm just gonna cut away the stuff that I'm not going to need. And I don't wanna cut the edges, I wanna cut the faces. This way, I can control exactly what is happening up on this top surface and on the bottom surface at the same time without too much effort. Now, one important thing to remember here is that um, this flap is going to be inside of the wing for most of our flights, so we don't want it to actually be on the surface here. We need this to be slightly lower. 
And what that will do is it'll take it away from the surface of the uh, wing, and it, it'll make it so that we don't have weird, like, dual colors going on when you, sometimes you see faces overlapped in YS Flight. Some weird things can happen. So that is the general setup here, but now what we got to do is try to set this up so that it actually looks a little bit more flap-like. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort of just finagle things around a little bit, and I'm going to add in a midpoint cut going this way so that I can control how this all looks in the end. I want it to sort of look like an airfoil in a, in a really rough sense. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and add in sides. All right, we want to make it so that, you know, we don't see through it. Because that would look kind of odd. All right, so there we go. Now there's one last thing that we want to do to make sure that this flap is everything that we want it to be. And that is um, dealing with this leading edge. Uh, perhaps with this guy it's not as obvious, but right here you can see just a little bit of separation. And we don't want that separation. We want this to line up perfectly. All right, we had it so that this middle edge lined up perfectly, but because of the fact that we cut in further and the second set of edges in here is a little bit um, like slanted compared to it, we get that difference there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here, we're going to select this edge, and we're going to separate it. And that'll duplicate it for our purposes. We're going to go into wireframe and drag this forward. And we're going to try to line it up with that at that uh, point up here. And that way, all we have to do is move the mesh of our flap just a wee bit. We're going to scale this in the x direction. Make sure I select everything in there. There we go. Just scale it a little bit and then bring this forward. And while it certainly will make a little bit of a difference um, with the bottom surface here, um, it's actually going to look pretty darn nice. So let's go ahead and move this out. And doesn't that look like it's supposed to? All right, really nice. So. Then what we're going to have to do, just to finish this off, is to go ahead and make uh, a backing to this. Uh, and that can be a little bit difficult um, because we're sort of going in and out of um, the wing itself. So I have all of these faces here. I'm going to go ahead and select them all, the ones that I just made. There we go. And I'm going to... Uh, remove them. I'm going to uh, separate them out. But then I'm also going to select this guy here, duplicate it, and separate it out. I'm going to have to have an overlapping uh, little bit there. So if I move this to the third layer, move this to the third layer as well, all I'm left with is the stuff that I need to work on. So I'm going to delete the edge that I use as a reference, and I'm going to merge these two guys together. Control J to merge. And I'm going to take a look at the normals to make sure they're all pointing in the right direction. And I can see from th these guys over here, uh, all the side walls are pointed inwards, which is what I want. Um, but this top guy isn't. So I'm just going to flip that around. I'm going to say flip normals. And there we go. Now we can go ahead and texture uh, te in texture mode and paint this. And I like to paint it a nice dark color. Uh, just so it's really obvious that it's separate. So let's go to the third layer and bring everything back. And we'll paint this a little different color as well. Just so we can really see all the differences. And there is our slotted Fowler flap. Um, to animate this, it's a little bit um, more difficult than just a regular hinge flap because we actually have to sort of move this back as we um, animate it. Uh, so I will leave that up to you to analyze and maybe figure out on your own. That could be a fun project. 
Uh, but if you have any questions about actually making this, go ahead and throw me a comment down below. I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions that you may have. Until next time, have fun. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to find some cool add-ons for YS Flight, head on over to YSUpload.com, the official add-on hosting site for YSHeadquarters.com.